Hello everyone, my name is Scouter Trevor. Today I will be showing how I met the Grade 8 Challenge, Week 8, SOS Success. You hear people moving about in the woods. You can also hear a rescue airplane flying overhead, but they don't know where you are because they can't see you. Use your bodies, the supplies you have on hand, or signal fires to make signs that can be seen from the sky. What shapes will signal help to someone flying overhead? Once the rescue team comes, think about your campsite. Is there any trace of you being there? How can you leave no trace of your adventure? Here's what I would do. Since the rescue is coming from the sky, we need to ask ourselves, what would be a better place for an airplane or a helicopter to see our sign of help? In the deep woods? Or would they see the signal better in an open field? We decided that the open field would be a more visible place to put our sign. But what materials do we have on hand that could signal a sky rescue? There was a lot of large tree limbs lying around on the ground. Could we use these to signal that we need help? Here are a few methods. One way is to arrange enough logs to spell out help on the ground. And I'm showing this here using these little 172nd scale figures just to help you get a sense of the scale of the words you need to spell. If you don't have enough logs, the triangle is another symbol for help. Here's another thought for if the rescue is at night. Make a campfire on the three points of the triangle. If there's not a lot of the fallen tree branches, you could also use rocks to spell out your message. However, the search and rescue teams are trained to look for anything that doesn't match the existing surrounding terrain. So even something as simple as a yellow blanket or a tarp left in a field can help you get rescued. You could also make smoke signals, and the one for I am lost, please help me, is two puffs. What did you decide to do? Please let us know in the comments down below. The signal worked and the rescue team is now here. However, before we break camp, we must remember to leave no trace. We have to respect nature and return our area, as best we can, to what it looked like before we arrived here. We need to take down our shelter, remove any garbage, cover any toilets and put out the campfires, and take apart our help sign. How did you enjoy the Grade 8 Challenge? Did you have fun with it? Let us know down in the comments below. 